changes. Uh, some of the symptoms appear to Ask be as expert. well. Sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Medical reporter Liz Bonus is in with that angle. And what are we learning about these symptoms, Liz, in those who are vaccinated versus those who are not? This is very interesting. The symptoms may be different, but experts at St. Elizabeth Healthcare tell us we're still learning new information about this every day. And because of that, testing is still critical to finding the right result. That testing, the only way to know right now for sure if you have the COVID-19 virus because... We are in a season where there are other viruses going around too. So it's always going to be a little confusing what someone is having and not having. Dr. Chaitanya Mandapakala told me he's not seen patients presenting with different symptoms by the time they need critical care as the kind his team provides at Kentucky's St. Elizabeth hospitals. He does, however, see fewer fully vaccinated patients get severe symptoms even though there are reports of breakthrough cases. But if you are fully vaccinated, the ZO COVID-19 symptom study in the UK found those who are unvaccinated report a headache, sore throat, runny nose, fever, and persistent cough. Those who are fully vaccinated report a headache, runny nose, sneezing, sore throat, and loss of smell. These last for a shorter time in the fully vaccinated. But even if the initial symptoms change, Dr. Chai's advice does not. We all have to be vigilant about uh, what symptoms someone has and test depending on what the concern is. So two things on that. It's the sneezing that was different in the person after vaccinated. They used to say, if you're sneezing, don't worry about it. And we How don't do you really know allergies. Yeah, yeah. that's the, and we don't. That's yeah. why he said you have to be tested. But this is also giving a strong argument for the home testing kits now, which are available uh, in many pharmacies if you want to keep one around just in case. So okay. you don't need a doctor's um, prescription or anything. No, if you get a positive test from it, then you would go and get it confirmed at a testing site. But they're usually about fifty bucks, and you can kind of keep one there at least for a family member. Okay, yeah. good Thanks, to know. Liz.